Hello, John Monroe here. Uh, and this evening, I'm going to ride my bike uh, along the canal path. Just attaching the camera to my handlebars. That's clipped on. Gloves on. Helmet on. Okay. Here we go. Leaving from the University of Birmingham campus. It's raining a little bit, but not too bad. Now, normally I would take the, uh, to get onto the canal at the University of Birmingham campus, I would get on the canal at the University train station, but I think they're doing some construction over there. So I'm gonna go up one bridge further and get on the canal there. Okay. Good. Always strange that there's no pedestrian priority crossing here given that it's in a university campus. filming this ride because I've noticed that there's some conversation going on uh, around some confusion, well some stuff over Twitter and uh, I guess regarding some confusion on the part of some people, unfortunately it sounds like some local decision makers who think that the canals, the canal towpaths are themselves cycling infrastructure. Um, this seems to be quite a widespread confusion because you also see um, in promotional materials for cycling infrastructure in the city the canal towpaths included on that. So I just thought I would take a ride along them on my way home this evening even though it's not normally what I do just basically to document what it's like. I think is one thing that the having a camera can do. Just on your right. Thank you. This, uh, to get on the road here, this is an awful junction. It's so dangerous for pedestrians and for students who have to cross here. Okay, it's really wet. Like that old faded drawing of a bicycle on the road there. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Okay. So, here's where I head down. So the very first thing to notice, as others have pointed out, uh, I saw Mark Kipwell had a good comment on um, the canal paths uh, not being cycling infrastructure about the inaccessibility. So these stairs, exhibit A. You can hear a cyclist down there, I think. So I have this pretty light single speed bike that I use to get around. So it's possible for me to It's possible for me to carry my bike down the stairs, but obviously there are, are lots of people for whom that would be 
bit of a problem. And I think I see someone walking up here. So as you can see, it's pretty dark. Um, there's no lighting. And just come up on this person here. Just gonna pass on your right. Thank you. So, um, for many people, so first of all, there's the accessibility question. That's an obvious barrier and a very clear reason why uh, it should immediately rule out any consideration of this being cyclist infrastructure because there are a lot of people with bicycles who couldn't get down here. Oh, I think that was a mouse. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing, as you can see, the darkness um, means that it doesn't feel safe for uh, any number of reasons. Um, and so I imagine that the people, uh, the decision makers who might be claiming that this is cycling infrastructure, have probably just simply never used it outside of uh, a summertime, you know, middle of the day kind of ride if they have been on a bicycle at all. Just on your right. Thank you. I imagine that pedestrians can, well, they hear me if I say something as I come up, which I normally do, and maybe they'll see my light coming up as well, but it's also not ideal. It's not, it's not good pedestrian structure, let alone cycling uh, infrastructure. For pedestrians, um, it's probably a little bit nerve-wracking to have people coming up behind them on bikes in the dark. So, in the summertime, or in the, in, even in other times of the year, not winter, when it's not dark so early, it can be nice as an alternative to go for the canal. Here comes the cyclist. But this kind of riding in the dark is clearly not for everyone. <clears throat> A few bikes down here this evening though. It's also worth noting that it's it's like 5.30 or something right now. It's not, it's not like it's late. This is normal coming home from work hours. So there's the safety issue, and the safety issue operates in a number of ways. Obviously, there's a gender dimension to this, and, you know, very literally, uh, people have been pushed in the water deliberately, and more often women. And obviously, for so many reasons in this society, in which a gendered structure of power organizes how things go. Uh, there's a gender dimension to what the canals are and what their status is as, uh, again, infrastructure for people getting from A to B. Of course, the other big, uh, whoops, reason why, uh, Decision makers who, thank you, decision makers who um, are trying to cater to the motorist vote or uh, themselves view, who knows, people with cars as more deserving of convenience and safety and what have you. 
um, that I imagine a reason why they might feel like just on your right thank you why they might feel like this is a good option a it's already here so that's simple just use the towpaths and B very significantly it means avoiding the central question that must be faced which is that of the allocation of public space on the roads and the reallocation of public space that's necessary to make travel possible for a variety of modes of transport not just cars same old question So it's a bit of a cop-out, in other words. Just on your right. Thank you. In some places, the path is a bit wide. As you can see, it's not so bad. In other places, it's really narrow. you to think about in the winter time right now it's a few degrees above zero so I'm not so worried about ice but the ice patches that obviously are part of wintertime riding create an extra danger in both scenarios the road on the roads and on the canals thank you On the roads, I fell the other day, slipped on the ice. Just coming up on your right. Thank you. And uh, it was fine, I slipped. I bumped my knee, whatever. But uh, the problem was, oh, bumpy part here. The problem was, because Birmingham has no almost no infrastructure for cycling at all, anywhere. That one blue lane, um, and a couple of little odds and ends. But since there's next to none, then whenever you're riding on the roads, you're sharing the road with cars. And just on your left, thank you. And if you slip on the ice, the problem is hitting the ground, that's one thing. But the much bigger problem is then getting hit by someone driving a car. So that's a danger of ice on the roads, is the lack of safe places to ride. Um, this part, by the way, there's a lot more pedestrians, which is fine. But in the summertime in particular, it's nice to ride along the canal. But this whole section is full of pedestrians, as it should be, and also rules it out as Thank you. Thanks, just on your left. And also rules it out as reasonable cycling infrastructure uh, for that reason. But then in the icy conditions, the canals, obviously if you hit the ice, the danger is you're gonna go in the water. Just gonna pass on your right. Thank you. Thanks. So there's a good number of reasons why it's not very good. Thank you. Just gonna pass on your right. Just on your right there, thank you. Just gonna pass on your right if that's okay. Thank you very much. It's kind of funny to picture um, a parallel situation in which drivers of cars had to, I don't mind slowing down for the pedestrians. Obviously this is more of a pedestrian walkway than anything else. But uh, it's funny to picture another parallel. 
in which car drivers are asked to slow down um, and nudge their way through mixing in with other thank you no problem, sir. with other um, forms of transport you wipe the probably misty on the lens here okay So I guess maybe one thing to do would be, in the face of this situation, in which people who have authority to make decisions about public space in our city decide that this is good enough um, for cyclists and pedestrians and therefore leave the roads entirely to motorists, maybe they could give us an example um, a more interesting video than me rambling on of them uh, riding the canals at night. I should also point out that the route that I'm on here from the University uh, of Birmingham through the city center to Ladywood is a very well-traveled part. Um, as you've seen, I've seen other cyclists and other pedestrians um, you know, every minute or two, uh, or even more frequently than that. Whereas in the large network of canals, um, there are many sections in which you'd be riding by yourself. Bumpy part here. In which you'd be riding by yourself without seeing anyone else for 10 minutes at a time, 15 minutes at a time, longer, solitary, stretches that would probably feel pretty unsafe. Again, given the fact that we know that people do sometimes get robbed along here. Thank you. Just gonna pass on your right. Thanks a lot, thank you. Um, and given that we do know that, that women have been pushed in the canal, uh, while riding and just how frightening that would be um, as well as you know I have a backpack on right now it has my laptop in it it has some books in it um, I mean that's quite secondary compared to getting hurt yourself but there's also just the question of your stuff so now as I'm going away from the city center towards Ladywood it's getting quieter and therefore a little bit less secure feeling perhaps. My partner, she takes the canals. Um, it's interesting, I always worry when I'm home first and she's coming home, I'm always so worried. Just that anything could happen. But she just feels like the roads are so dangerous. And she has a good point there. Um, for riding that she usually, she sometimes takes the roads, but she quite often takes the canals, even at night, um, even though it doesn't feel totally safe, but also because the roads feel often even less safe. So basically, it's back to the same old issue of the city just has a big public space, a big problem of allocation of public space, how it's divided, who it's divided for, um, and the ways that structures of power in the city um, organize the way that public space is, is allocated. And that should be done more fairly, and it needs to change. And this idea, this is where I turn off, and the idea that, um, that the towpaths, that the pre-existing towpaths or any answer um, to to that challenge, it's kind of a joke. So, um, so I'm glad. Here, I'll just turn around here. I'm glad people are are talking about this, um, and I hope that people in positions of authority uh, realize that, as you can see, the canal towpaths are not cycling infrastructure. See you later.